Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Gemini for the month of August. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon and your rising sign. Your messages could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Beginning in the overall energies, at the bottom of this deck, we have the Rose Quartz. Okay, so this is considered to be the stone of unconditional love and peace. Um, it can be self-love, spiritual, romantic. Love of any kind is best found through an open heart. This is your message. Because we often put up blocks and walls trying to protect ourselves. We must allow old hurts to heal and to open ourselves to the possibility of true love. This card is asking you to be open to love. What we have here, and this card seems to be very popular uh, in these readings lately, um, we have the key which speaks to opportunities being on the horizon. This is an opportunity that is yet to come and you will need to be open to it. All of your cards are speaking to needing to be open to an opportunity. The key unlocks all of the possibilities that are available to you. Now, you hold this key. What are you ignoring? Are there options open to you that you aren't taking advantage of? Even if all doors and windows seem blocked, this card is telling you that you hold the key and can find the way out, but you must choose to do it. So, we see that there is a message here coming to you in the letter. The skull would suggest that there are things uh, that you are holding on to that need to be shed. You may have trust issues here. You may have experienced depression, confusion. You may have struggled with a previous relationship that has put you in this state. There is a relationship news about one coming towards you. Okay, that is, uh, there is a reunion here. And you need to be open to this. So you have work to do to prepare. You know it's coming. You have the waxing moon here, which speaks to growth. It's a time for action. What are you actively doing to move forward to grow? It is a card of intention setting, planning, dreaming. These are all important steps right now. But you must take inspired action to show up as a co-creator in your life because the universe can only do so much. You must also participate. This card asks you to take a look at your actions and to ask yourself, what can you do today to take steps to create the reality that you desire? Now, I feel that there is uh, inner healing that needs to take place for you to be able to be open to this opportunity. Now, remember, it is an opportunity. You can choose to do the work or choose to take the opportunity or not. Choose to be open to it or not. You're hurt, you're hurting, and you're determined not 
to let this happen again. So you've got your guard up, you've got walls up. These need to be dealt with and you need to let the guard down to be open for this, to allow for growth. The card of Basil is a blessing. So whatever news or opportunity that's coming to you is a blessing. And it is also a fated event. Um, Basil is speaking to change. It's about getting rid of negativity. Um, it is used uh, in love and prosperity and abundance spells. It promotes loyalty, banishes evil, and purifies. It could be uh, about somebody's pride or being prideful. Your ego could be bruised. It's also a card that would remind you that we make our own luck by taking control or back control in a situation. It is a reminder that change begins within you. It is about taking a look at your karmic balance. Is there something that needs to be healed in order to change your luck? Now, this has to do with this reunion. So here we see again, luck comes in and it's coming with an offer of love, a profession of love, an expression of love, a pouring out of one's heart. This is about a healing temperance is here. This can be um, thoughts of a healing or of what needs to be healed again within you. Here again, we see the reunion. All these cards are confirming what's up here. And you taking a closer look at this. You are imprisoned in your mind uh, with fear having to do with the cup that is being offered with this window of opportunity that we see coming. You're afraid to take the cup. But this cup can lead you to the Ten of Cups. Remember, this is a blessing coming in. But, you know, you always have free will. Are you ready for this cup? This cup needs preparation. So, here we have the connection of the lover. So, a very deep connection is felt here. And we have the High Priestess, which is about the unknown, secrets, mystery, um, insight understanding she is about moving between two worlds the rational which is I'll just show you the card which is represented there by those um, chess pieces okay and the unknown represented in the looking glass the idea of not knowing what lies ahead is a very important message here. I'm trying to get rid of the glare. <laughs> we'll bring it down here, maybe. Okay, so here Alice is about to dive into a mystery, and at every step she's going to have to decide what parts of her will remain and which parts she will shed or must shed, but it is her actions ultimately 
and decisions that are going to determine the outcome here. And really, uh, for me, this is the heart of this reading. Oops. And I'm going to place it here because it is so important. This may require a lot of effort on your part to do this. And because you're trapped in the Eight of Swords energy with regards to the opportunity and being able to shed um, the ghosts of the past, so to speak. Here you see, this is why you hold back. So this is holding back, okay? Here is the um, the house of cards behind her. She's sitting here alone with her pets, having tea. But behind her is that house of cards, and those cards do not look very uh, steady. That um, clear glare that they could hold up that roof for long. They're bent and going in different directions. And in her mind, this is how she sees it. You see, the cards are everywhere. It's chaos. This is what she's afraid of. The cards being unable to hold up that roof. That it doesn't have a solid foundation. to be able to, you know, move forward, to build upon. But this is coming from the ghosts of the past that keep her here. So she's studying, looking at the details. In order to move forward, these cards say once again, um, she's because she's very focused on the past, on the spilled cup from the past. Um, now, for some of you, this could be, I mean, it could be an, a new re relationship that is coming in, but because of past experiences, it holds you back. So this is what needs to be dealt with. This is what is causing the Eight of Swords energy and all of this chaos in the mind. In order to move forward, you must, uh, you must prepare. You must do the work here on that Five of Cups. Okay, the focus on the spilled cup and the Eight of Swords, the chaotic thoughts, the fears in the mind. So what I see here is it's very simple. Um, you have this new opportunity that is coming towards you and the cards are asking you to be open to it, to deal with what has happened in the past, what is holding you back, what is blocking you from growth, from growing. You must go inward to do the work. You may feel like this is too hard or too difficult for you um, and if you if you don't do the work you're going to miss out on this opportunity it's because it's a window you're going to miss out on it on this blessing that the universe is trying to bring to you I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing. 
also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.